Hello, everyone. It brings me great pleasure to be here in Iceland. The last time I was here, I was uh, going up and down the mountains uh, skiing with my Telemark skis because I used to ski 200 days a year. Now I'm uh, traveling around the world 200 days a year. Hopefully, five, 10 years from now, I'll be skiing another 200 uh, days per year. Uh, I have a very fascinating story for you to tell. Uh, I'm representing Sinia, which is a, a, a private company uh, strongly supported with ownership of the Finnish government. As you heard uh, yesterday, the Prime Minister uh, Antti Rinne said that this cable route connecting Europe to Asia through the Arctic is one of the biggest priorities in uh, technology and uh, in the field of the Finnish uh, government, how to pursue in Nordic way new ways to run the business. How is the new business to be run? First of all, we have to build sustainable global infrastructure. That's really number one issue for us all. Uh, and how to do that? If you build data cables connecting different continents and then building uh, data hubs in various regions and building data centers where you have renewable energy and then you have the, the, the best technology in the world, it's called climate. I would say that's one of the biggest uh, points that we have here in the Arctic because we have this cool technology already here. And we also know how to build sustainable business. So this brings us a unique opportunity to link Europe and Asia through north, through northern routes, and that will foster future growth and help sustain digitalization. And why is this possible? It's very simple. You just take a look at geography. Instead of uh, building sea cables, which, which by the way, they carry 99.6% of all internet in the world. So they have all been built from one continent to another on, on sort of uh, latitude routes. This provides a unique opportunity to combine latitude and longitude routes. And that's really a, a, a I would say, a killer technology. So the way to do business smarter. I recently met a, a friend of mine who, who lives in Singapore, and we met in Tokyo talking about this project, and his flight from Singapore to Tokyo took seven hours. And you think Singapore is much closer to Tokyo than Helsinki. Well, my flight from Helsinki took eight hours and 40 minutes. Very little difference. So building this kind of cable system will cut the distance over one third. So this will provide 30 or 40 percent better latency. If you build better latency, then you have much better possibilities of running your business. And secondly, you can build this cable system so that it can connect various continents. So in the old times when you're building the, the biggest cable routes, they go through uh, North America and Europe. And those were the trading routes which were uh, done at that time. If you would build this kind of cable system, which we are intending to build with our Japanese partner, with our Asian partner, with our uh, Russian partners, Megaphone, with our international partners, we can really build a future-proof infrastructure and solid sustainable technology. So with the expected growth that we saw just recently and the cable system, which is really relying a proof technology, we have a solid track record of the people and organizations which can build this kind of infrastructure. We can make something very unique here in the Arctic. So I'm very glad to give a little teaser about this and later talk about this more. Thank you very much.